Today we are going to do a little bit of work on my 55 Plymouth Plaza two-door station wagon. It has a 46 RH transmission from a 1995 Dodge Ram. Today we are going to make the overdrive and the lockup torque converter work. So pretty much I took a 1995 Dodge Ram that was wrecked. I paid 150 bucks for it with 150,000 miles, pulled the motor, pulled the tranny, stuck it in here, uh, welded up some mounts and uh, made it work. The car runs really, really good, but we need to make the overdrive stuff work. This kit, I bought this kit from PATC. It's very, very simple, but for some reason it was like a hundred bucks. I don't really understand why it's so expensive. So what you have here is you have a pressure switch for your lockup. It's 52 PSI. For every one mile per hour is one PSI. So 52 PSI would be 52 miles per hour. That's when your lockup would engage, in theory. Your other switch is a 50 pound switch. So 50 miles per hour, your overdrive will engage. And then if you want to pass a Chevy on the highway, you have this kick down solenoid. It's vacuum controlled. And pretty much the way it does is it goes in line of these. And when you floor it, it knocks the overdrive off and you go back into just third gear like you're driving a 727. All right, let's get started. I need to get access to the transmission. So I'm gonna go ahead and jack the car up. Okay, so if we're up underneath the car, Right about there, we're gonna have a little plug. That is our three wire plug for our overdrive and lockup. If you're getting one of these transmissions from a junkyard, you're gonna need to cut the plug off or keep the plug with the little harness. All right, so first things first, I need to get power into my switch, out of the switch, to the middle, middle wire on our plug. This wire connects to the COM on our pressure switch. All right, so we can figure out our length of wire. We need to find a spot to mount it. I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie it right here to this wire harness. Now this wire, I'm gonna run straight to my fuse panel. All of these are switched on with the key. All right, now that the wire's on, we can tighten it up. Pop our fuse in, got a 15 amp. Go ahead and loosely route the wire up to the switch because we still have to run one more wire down to the transmission. Now we can do our vacuum line to our pressure switch. I'm gonna route it along here, down on this loom, and straight to the bottom of the carburetor. All right, plug it in right there. All right, now I got the power wire that goes to the middle wire on the harness and some wire loom. I'm gonna go ahead and feed it down. Okay, so now that this wire is routed to the middle wire on our transmission plug, we can go ahead and take our power wire and put it inside of the loom and connect both of these wires to our vacuum switch. All right, we got our two wires running. Running on our vacuum switch and we have one wire on the NC and the other wire on the COM. They're always in contact until we floor it and when it open then our overdrive will kick off. Okay so we have two ports we need to remove. There is one right here and then there's a plug right there. We're gonna pull those two plugs out and we're gonna install both of our pressure, pressure, ah, pressure switches. We got our white wire going to our 52 PSI pressure switch. And then we have our green wire going to our 50 PSI switch. And then that wiring harness is loomed and runs over the top of the transmission. And it goes to this side and we have our harness. So the harness plugs in like this on the top of the transmission. So the wire in facing the front of the car, which in this case looks like a brown wire, is your overdrive. Your middle wire is your power wire, which will go to the power wire right here that goes off of the pressure switch. And then our wire to the rear of the vehicle, which is an orange wire, 
goes to our white wire which goes to the 52 PSI switch. So front wire is our overdrive, 50 PSI. Middle wire is our positive wire that runs from the key switch to the vacuum, off of the vacuum, to the middle harness. Our wire to the rear of the vehicle runs over to the 52 PSI switch, and that's our lockup. So now all I have to do is connect my power wire Get this all loomed up and then plug it in we should be good to go all right it's all done up loomed up looking professional plugs in right up here right where the uh, neutral safety switch is it's right above it okay so it turns out this port and this port are wrong there's a port way up back there you can barely see it I'm gonna have to put both of these sensors on that port with a T fitting right here so I'm gonna go ahead and relocate it and hopefully it fits which I it doesn't look like it's going to I uh, can't get my ratchet in there so I'm just gonna take my pry bar and bend this trans tunnel out of the way all right so that's what it should look like I am right up against my floor and that was a pain in the butt to get in. Hopefully I got enough thread tape where it doesn't leak. If it does leak, I'm gonna have to cut off this floor right there and uh, tighten it from the top and then weld it back together. All right, let's take it for a test spin. running perfect now get up on the highway first second third and then you're you know getting up to speed and once you let off the gas just a little bit to where you want to go 60 between 60 and 70 overdrive will kick in as soon as you give it a little bit of throttle it'll kick out of overdrive and then you can go and then you can go back into third if you're having problems where it's kicking in and out of overdrive too much you can adjust the screw in or out and uh get your pressure just right. This thing is way easier to drive now. Those 373 gears, when it was in third gear, this thing was screaming and it was really hard to drive because you're screaming and it and it's, makes it easier to actually steer when, it's, when it has a smooth RPM like that. So it's gonna take a little bit more tuning, but it's running and driving really great. Uh, I'm just gonna have to keep tweaking on that vacuum switch. And on the next video, I'm gonna lower the car about two inches all the way around. So, thanks for watching.